Suppose we are asked to find the greatest common divisor of 42 and 140. One way to do this is first write each of these numbers as a product of prime powers. So for 42, 42 is 6 times 7 and 6 is 2 times 3. So 42 is 2 times 3 times 7. And 140 is 7 times 20 and 20 is 4 times 5 and 4 is 2 squared. So this can be written as 2 squared times 5 times 7. And now we see that 2 is a common factor to both numbers and 7 is a common factor to both numbers. So the greatest common divisor of 42 and 140 is 2 times 7, which is 14. Now we're going to look at a way of computing the greatest common divisor without factoring. Because factoring is pretty hard, and so we try to avoid factoring as much as possible. And the method that we're going to look at is called the Euclidean algorithm. So let's take two natural numbers a and b. And we're going to assume that a is greater than or equal to b. The Euclidean algorithm is based on the following observation. If b is 0, then the greatest common divisor of a and b is simply a because well it cannot be larger than a but a divides a and a divides 0 now the other observation is if b is greater than 0 then the greatest common divisor of a and b turns out to be the same as the greatest common divisor of b and r where r is the remainder of a divided by b well we're not going to go through why this is true for the purpose of this course, you just have to remember this. Okay, so let's look at an example and see how this is going to work. Now let's compute the GCD of 42 and 140, and I'm going to turn things around and say GCD of 140 and 42 to match what we have here. According to the second observation, we can first find the remainder of 140 divided by 42. Alright, so let's do some long division here. So 42 goes into 140 three times with some remainder. And the remainder is going to be 14. So according to the second observation, the greatest common divisor of 140 and 42 is the same as the greatest common divisor of 42 and 14. Now we can apply the second observation again and say that this is equal to the greatest common divisor of 14 and the remainder of 42 divided by 14. All right, so we do a long division here. This time, 14 times 3 goes into 42 evenly. And so we have 0. And now we can apply the first observation because b is 0 here. We have 0. So the greatest common divisor is going to be 14, which matches what we have earlier. As you can see, this method does not require factoring. And it is the method that is preferable when you are trying to find GCD of some really big numbers. So suppose that you want to find the GCD of 1008 and 501. You might find it easy to factor, you might not, but it doesn't matter if we use the Euclidean algorithm. So the first thing we need to do here is compute the remainder of 1008 divided by 501. So if we take 2 times 501, I get 1002 with a remainder of 6. And so the GCD of 1008 and 501 is the same as the GCD of 501 and 6. And this is equal to the GC of 6 and the remainder of 501 divided by 6. So 6 times 8 is 48 and 6 times 3 is 18 and that gives us a remainder of 3 
So it's GCD of 6 and 3. Well, at this point, we can go on applying the second observation again, but we don't really need to do that because it's clear the GCD of 6 and 3 is 3. And so that's the answer. So the GCD of 1008 and 501 is equal to 3.